This is Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 26. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Also on the tenth day of this seven month, there shall be a day of atonement. It shall be a holy convocation unto you, and ye shall afflict your souls, and offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. And ye shall do no work in that same day, for it is a day of atonement to make atonement for you before the Lord your power. For whosoever, for whatsoever so it be that shall not be afflicted in that same day, he shall be cut off from among his people. And whatsoever so it be that doeth any work in that same day, the same soul will I destroy from among his people. He shall do no manner of work. It shall be a statue for ever throughout your generations and all your dwellings. It shall be unto you a Sabbath of rest. And ye shall afflict your souls in the ninth day of the month at evening. Even, from even unto even, shall ye celebrate your Sabbath. Barak for Yahweh, Barak for Yahweh Shai, Barak for Yahweh, Barak for Yahweh Shai, Barak for Yahweh, Barak for Yahweh Shai. All praise, honor, and infinite glory goes to Yahweh. Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekakadosh. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. And Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. That will honor the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. That rule well Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. The nation of Israel consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You make up the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel today. You don't look like a typical black, Hispanic, or Native American. You can still be an Israelite through your father's seed line. If your father's seed line goes back to an Israelite man, then your spirit bears witness. So your spirit's proof. It is evidence that you are an Israelite because you are drawn to this 100% word, okay, which comes out of the camp of Great Millstone. You're drawn to this word, no doubt about it, and you fit the curses of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. And you have faith and you believe in this message, okay, this gospel. I'm the brother Zakar from the Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp in Philadelphia, PA. And the topic of this video is going to be Day of Atonement 2020. Okay. It's going to be August 27, which is a Thursday. August 27th at evening to August 28th. Okay. At evening. All right, Day of Atonement 2020. Now, if you're new to listening to Great Millstone videos for the first time, okay, of course, for brothers, we already know about the Day of Atonement, okay? But if you're new, okay, this is a high holy day, not a holiday, because in this world, you have what people call holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Valentine's Day, 4th of July, things people practice, they take off for these days. And they love and cherish these days in America. But as an Israelite, okay, so-called Black Hispanic Native American, or you may not look like one, but you're still drawn to this message, okay, there's high holy days that you have to follow in the Bible to rehearse the righteous acts. Okay, not holidays, because they're all satanic, the holidays of this world. These are high holy days. Okay, and one of these days is the Day of Atonement. All right. This is Leviticus 23, verse 26. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Also on the tenth day of this seventh month, there shall be a day of atonement. It shall be a holy Holy meaning separate convocation unto you, 
and ye shall afflict your souls. And offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. And ye shall do no work in that same day, for it is a day of atonement to make atonement for you before the Lord your power. Okay? So afflict your souls. It's a day that you're supposed to go, all right, on a one-day fast, all right? 24 hours fasting, afflicting your soul, okay? Not eating, okay? Any food, nor drinking, all right? Afflicting your soul, humbling yourself through fasting. If you get that word afflict, it will say to be put down, become low, all right, it says, be downcast, be afflicted, to stoop, to humble oneself, bow down, to be afflicted, to be humbled. Okay, and through not eating any food, okay, humbling yourself, okay, being at a weak state, the Heavenly Father can hear your prayers, all right, and answer your calls. All right, and listen to you more. All right, if you're in a weak state, calling on to him. So this day of atonement, all right, is a day to afflict your souls. Okay, through fasting. It says, ye shall afflict your souls and offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. Okay, of course, we're not practicing the, the duties of offering sacrifices made of lamb and fox lamb and different animals because the Lord Yahweh was our sacrifice. Okay. So we're not doing those practices of offering sacrifices. Okay. Because our bodies are a living sacrifice for, of course, the brothers who are putting their bodies on the highways and byways. Okay. And of course, the Lord, okay, is the ultimate sacrifice. Okay. It says, and ye shall do no work in that same day. So no work. Okay, if you have work, all right, try to call off, okay, for this high holy day, okay, because people in the world, they take off for certain holidays. So as it is like rehearsing the righteous acts, there's high holy days that come, okay, so of course, trying to, right, practice it to the best of your ability is a good thing all right of course i don't know every individual situation on this earth okay of every brother's job situation okay but of course practicing this taking off okay atoning for your sins afflicting your souls all right doing no work all right not being in work all right, off the job is the correct way to do it. It says, and ye shall do no work in that same day, for it is a day of atonement to make atonement for you before the Lord your power. For whosoever so it be that shall not be afflicted in that same day. So if you don't fast and afflict yourself, no eating or drinking, while you know that you're supposed to do that, it says he shall be cut off from among his people. And whatsoever so it be that doeth any work in that same day, the same so will I destroy from among his people. You see? So doing work in that same day, the same so will I destroy from among his people. All right? So, of course, try to get off work. All right? To the best of your ability. It says, And ye shall do no manner of work. It shall be a statue forever throughout your generations and all your dwellings. Okay? It shall be unto you a Sabbath of rest, and ye shall afflict your souls. So humbling yourself, afflicting your soul. In the ninth day of the month at even, from even unto even, ye shall ye, shall ye celebrate your Sabbath. Okay? Now, if you get the word atonement, you check it up on Google. It will read atonement. Reparation for a wrong or injury. Okay? So it says reparation for wrong or injury. It says the reconciliation of Yahweh and humankind through Yahweh Shai Mashiach. It says reparation or exp 
or expiation for sin. Okay, it says reparation, compensation, recompense, payment, repayment. All right, so the wrong or injuries is, of course, in this world, we didn't always know the truth. Okay, and we were in the world. Okay, but the Heavenly Father had mercy on us. Okay, and the Lord died for us to have this grace period. Okay, this grace period we're living in right now. So we won't be under the law. Because if you're under the law, right, a lot of a lot of Israelites will be put to death. Okay. The Lord could easily just cast us off, cast us off. But he's not gonna do that. Okay, because he once turned his back on us. And now we have him back. Okay. He called certain Israelites, all right, to understand this message. Okay, so reparation for a wrong or injury. Okay, this day. So you afflict your soul to the heavenly and pray unto the heavenly father. Okay, so of course he can all right forgive you, all right, and make you wider than snow. Okay. Blot out your transgressions. Okay. spiritually just give you a boost all right for your life okay for the times are about to come to this world all right because as of 2020 august things are speeding up all right we're in the coronavirus things are still going to heat up phase two they're talking about okay so of course reparation for a wrong or injury all right just ask the heavenly father for forgiveness Okay, humble yourself through fasting, no work, all right, and cast off all your prior, um, 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 your prior, um, what the world calls baggage, okay, of sins, okay, because we're not perfect, all right, being in this world, so, and move on, walk down and keep moving on. All right. So he can hope that you'll have a chance for salvation. All right. Believing you're going to be saved, not holding back to the to your old self. OK. Not looking back, keep on pushing no matter what. OK. Attaching from those old that old man becoming a new person for the heavenly father's sake. Genuinely, sincerely. Reparation for a wrong or injury, okay? Because this is a high holy day, which is a the heritage of the Israelites, God's chosen people, a royal separate people, okay, unto himself. Not everyone's an Israelite, okay? This is Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 6. Keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Okay? So keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. These laws, such as commandments, keep us separate from these other nations. The Heavenly Father keeps us separate. Okay? Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. All right. These all these other nations are supposed to look at the nation of Israel as the best nation on planet Earth. Oh, the Heavenly Father is with that nation, no doubt about it. But we are under curses as of right now. But those curses are slowly being lifted off. Okay. So if you're new listening to this, all right, seek the Heavenly Father while he may be found. Okay. And repent to the God of Israel. All right. Change your ways and rehearse the righteous acts. Okay. Of the Bible. To the best of your ability. Okay. Because that's your true heritage. Not a black, African American, Hispanic, Native American. That's not. Those are bywords and f false labels put on you. Okay. 
Your true heritage is being an Israelite from whatever tribe you are from. Okay, that's your true heritage. Okay, so seek the Heavenly Father. Okay, the Day of Atonement, all right, is going to be on August 27th, all right, Thursday evening, okay, to Friday evening, okay, Day of Atonement 2020. Lord willing, this veil is edifying. All praise, honor, and infinite glory goes to Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai Bahashim Rakakadash Shalom Yasharallah Shalom.